I'm not sure about you, but I know I was just wondering what would happen if you connected a first generation iPod to a Mac running Big Sur. So you can tell this is the first gen because the scroll wheel actually moves and has the Garamond font on it. So I was thinking, what would happen? Would you get just an iPod icon? Would it show the original iPod? So let's see what happens when we connect it. So I don't currently have a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter. We're gonna have to go about this a completely different way. Hooked up to this monitor is a Mac Pro 3,1 and it has Firewire. So we'll connect the iPod to this computer first. Then I have an idea on how to get it accessed by my MacBook. It's just been detected by the computer and here's what the icon looks like. This is what the icon looks like on Mac OS Mountain Lion. Can't really get a good of the camera, so I'll just take a screenshot of the computer and put it somewhere over here. So now I think I know how to get it connected to my new MacBook. The way I'm gonna do this, well, I'll try and I'll see if it works. I'll go into sharing, then shared folders, because right now I have file sharing set up and We'll select the iPod as a shared disk. So there you can see it is. So now it should be a shared folder that I can access from my MacBook. You can see right here I have all of my shared disks connected from my Mac Pro. We can just refresh that by going to our servers by hitting Command K, connect to it, and then reconnect, and there we go. I'm pointing at it, but you can't see that. Here's the icon. It looks basically the same as the other one, which is pretty cool that they still kept that in Big Sur. So we can actually access it, go into its file folder, I can drop this picture onto it, and then access it on the Mac Pro. So for those curious, this is what it looks like. Connecting the first generation iPod to a new M1 MacBook running Big Sur. It turns out that when you navigate to this folder, you can see all of the icons. And wow, they've really kept around a lot of icons in Big Sur. Like their iPhone 3G. Hmm, they don't have the original iPhone in here. Must be somewhere. But yeah, you can see all these old iMacs and eMac. But none of the iPod ones are anywhere to be found. So I think they're actually stored on the iPod. So what is that? Mac Pro? Oh, from the top. Hmm. But yeah, I think the iPods actually have the icons on them. And when you connect to it, then the icon will just show up on your computer. But yeah, there's just the Windows one blue screen of death and then these are kind of cool a bunch of sidebar icons so yeah the iPod ones must just be on the iPod so I guess that's kind of neat I wonder what the oldest computer they have on here is oh Power Mac G4 that's got to be it isn't that computer from like 1999 or something? I can't remember the date. I know it's pretty old though. I guess with that, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. So later this year in October actually, the iPod is going to be turning 20. So I'm gonna do a bigger video for that. I'm still not sure what, but I think it was something pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. I'm not a man, 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 I'